Good evening, sir. Good evening. Can I have your resume? Yes, sir. This is my resume. Ashwan, introduce yourself. Firstly, I am very glad to introduce myself to you, sir. I am Ashwan Kumar from Ijawada. I completed BTEC in civil engineering from the Nagla Institute of Engineering and Technology. As well as I completed diploma in civil engineering from Government Polytechnic, Vijayawada. Uh, past one year, I worked as a graduate apprentice trainee of civil engineering in Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited, Shaka Refinery. Uh, due to my passion towards software field, uh, since the last six months, I am enhancing my skills towards the Java developer. Okay. So you have mentioned some of the skills that is Core Java and JDBC. Yes, so let me ask you a few questions over Core Java and JDBC. So why Java is platform independent? Yeah, the most unique feature of Java is platform independent. As uh, any other programming languages such as uh, the source file is the source file is compiled to executable code uh, which is uh, not run in any other platforms as java c compiler compiles a java code it generates an executable code which contains a byte code uh, this byte code can interpreted only by java since uh, some microsystems made these byte code available only by JVM, uh, since uh, Sun Microsystems made the JVM available across all platforms, so we can access any code from any other platform. For example, if you have bytecode generated by the Windows environment, we can also execute that in uh, Linux environment also. That's why we call Java as a platform internet language. What are the rules we have for identifiers? identifiers. Uh, identifiers are the names in Java program. Uh, following up the rules for identifiers, uh, it should it should start with uh, either alphabet or underscore or dollar. It cannot start with the numbers, but we can have numbers after the first letter. Uh, we cannot use reserved words as identifiers. Uh, and uh, as well also, identifiers is a case sensitive. Okay. What are relational operators? Uh, relational operators are used to compare the two operands. Uh, some of the relational operators are that is greater than or less than, greater than or equal to less than or equal to. What are logical operators? Logical operators are, it can be used to perform some conditions, some logical conditions. Uh, some of the logical operators are double operand, R, and R. What are conditional statements? Conditional statements are used to execute block of code based on some conditions. What are the types of conditional statements we have? Uh, we can have decision making statements and uh, looping statements. Uh, in decision making we have if, if else, uh, instead of. And coming to the looping statements uh, we have for loop, while, while. What is encapsulation? Finding of data and the methods, corresponding methods together into a single unit is known as encapsulation. It is the one of the feature of the object oriented programming language. What is inheritance? Inheritance. Uh, whatever the properties the parent have, uh, it can be inherited by the child class. It is known as inheritance. Can we achieve multiple inheritance? Uh, Java doesn't support multiple inheritance, but by using interface we can achieve multiple in inheritance in Java. What is constructor chaining?
What is a constructor? Yeah, constructor is a special method uh, which is used to initialize an object of a class. What is abstraction? Uh, abstraction means uh, hiding the internal data and highlighting the and implementing the highlighting the hiding the internal data and uh, highlighting the some set of rules is known as abstraction. Okay. So what do you know the about interface? Interface. Interface. Okay. Uh, interface is defined as the any service specific requirement um, or an, uh, contract between the client and the server server machine or 100% pure Java abstract classes are called interface. What is exception? Exception. Yeah. Uh, in Java, exception is an object. Uh, exceptions are created uh, whenever there is uh, some errors in our program. Exceptions are created either by the JVM or by our application board. Uh, the classes, uh, the exception classes are available in java.util package. Exceptions is also known as runtime errors. Exceptions are present in java.lang package. Okay. So java.lang package is the default package. We don't need to import it. What is null pointer exception? Whenever uh, if we give the null value to the null value, then this exception will rise. What are wrapper classes? Per classes is nothing but the uh, encapsulating the primitive data types. Encapsulating the primitive data types is known as wrapper classes. It is immutable in nature. Okay. What is collection framework? Uh, collection framework defines the several classes and interfaces uh, which are required for the collection objects. What are the characteristics of list interface? List interface, list interface is the child interface of collection interface. Uh, duplicate objects uh, as well as instruction order is preserved. Heterogeneous uh, objects are applicable, accepted. What is the difference between array list and linked list? The underlying data structure of array list is global uh, array or resizable array. Whereas the linked list, uh, the underlying data structure is double linked list. What is the difference between asset and linked asset? The underlying data structure of the asset is uh, hash table. The underlying data structure of the linked asset is uh, linked list and the hash table. Uh, coming to the hash, it is a, uh, it is not synchronized. Linked hash is a synchronized uh, objects of the hash hash set. 
What is equals hash code contract? What is map? If you want to represent a key value page as a single entity, uh, then you should go for map. Uh, it is not a child interface of functions. Duplicate keys are not allowed in map, but the values can be duplicated. Insertion order is preserved. Uh, in, uh, explain me about JDBC steps. Coming, uh, uh, these are the following are the steps for the JDBC. Uh, load and register the driver. Establish the connection between Java application and the database. Uh, creating statement object uh, to send uh, queries to the database. Next, uh, process the results from the database. Close the connection. What, what are the types of statement objects we have in JDBC? Uh, in JDBC, there are three types of statement objects. Uh, first one is statement, second one is prepare statement, and coming to the final the callable statement. Ashwin, very good Ashwin. Yeah, correct. Thank you, sir.